Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Roverland. Yes. So today we're going to be talking about this casting. That's right. This is the Hot Wheels new for 21. This is the Range Rover Classic. Yes, this just came out uh, towards the end of 2021. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at this. Um, yeah, there's more to come, so don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. By the way, give me a thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook. We are growing leaps about on Facebook and here on the uh, Roverland. Thank you guys for subscribing. We're going to keep up the good work, hopefully, for 2022. So uh, this one here has got a goofed up card, and uh, yeah, I don't have many open, so we're going to open this one up. Don't go anywhere because I got more, all right? Just, just letting you know, don't go anywhere. I got more to happen here. And uh, so let's just kindly just uh, go ahead and uh, hold uh, my big hand over the edge of the counter so we can uh, nicely, whatever, use our box cutter, uh, age-appropriate tool for uh, YouTubers. And uh, All right, so there we go. Oh, yeah, way to go. We already dropped it on the floor. Hold on. Slippery little bugger he is. <laughs> All right, so here we are. This is uh, the uh, Range Rover Classic from Hot Wheels GRX 34, uh, made in Malaysia. This is great, 2021. So just like I said, this came out uh, like Thanksgiving, Christmas time, and uh, they are out and about if you can find any Hot Wheels on the uh, shelves or even match boxes. These are out and about, let's see, what was that, the Q case. So that was towards the end of the uh, the whole run of everything. So uh, yes, Castrol, uh, where's the Castrol? Yeah, Castrol down here. This is the, um, the what is that, the trail, uh, no, terrain challenge, 81. I'm not really sure, uh, I don't think this is, uh, 1981 version. I think they quit making the uh, two-door Range Rovers in uh, 71, 72. Not really sure, but there's the Castrol on the hood. That's kind of one of the official British oil companies. Michelin uh, uh, tires, Land Rover, Hot Wheels, Hella Lights, uh, Hot Wheels. I like the Hot Wheels uh, graphics there. Uh, another Michelin with the Michelin man giving us a wave. Hello there, Adam Brock. Uh, that was performance parts, engine performance parts. Edel, Edel Brock. No, that's not Edel Brock, is it? No, that's, I don't know what that is. In Bartaki? I'm not sure. Anyway, then there's big old Land Rover there. But it's really nice. This is a dollar car, and, um... This has uh, more detail than a regular dollar car. Usually it's two passes. You either you get the sides or you get the front and the back. Or, or the, oh, sorry, the front or the back. You don't normally get all three, four sides here, um, uh, which is kind of nice. I just kind of noticed that. Um, yeah, so anyway. All right, you've waited long enough. Um, yeah. Here it is. Ba bam. <laughs> yes, sirree. Uh, I was at the diecast meet, and uh, my friend Travis, he uh, gave me a deal. He had three of them for three bucks, but he gave me a deal. And uh, I don't know if I should disclose that on the air, but anyway, he gave me a deal. So this is what we got. Uh, this is uh, an exclusive, GameStop exclusive. And uh, luckily, uh, there was some guys at the club that have been getting out and about and in the uh, Appleton, Green Bay, uh, Nina area, uh, they have been getting um, getting uh, cases in. And so this is the B case. This would be in the B case, I guess. But like I say, there is uh, 
I want to say four cars, five cars that do this um, GameStop exclusive color. Yes. So isn't it glorious? Isn't it grand? Hello, you know what we're going to do? Did you notice this? Oh, bummer, man. Yep, that means we're going to have to open it. All right, let's get at her. Yeah, well, thanks for sticking around. You thought we were just going to talk about that silly old red one. But we have got the brand new, and this just came out. Well, I don't know if it was supposed to come out um, late last year, but with the whole bottled uh, empty shelves thing going on. So nice, beautiful artwork. This is just great and glorious. These are really sharp. I really like them. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, so let's get at it. We looked at that. We looked at that. This is it. Yes, sirree. So, oh, wow, look at that red interior. That is awesome. I just got, I mean, it just shows up. Boy, the, the uh, rally lights on the, on the front there are just awesome. Look at that. Yeah, they really stand out with that black on black. You know, you really couldn't, you know, they didn't stand out. But this red, I like this paint scheme. The blue and the white. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, this faces the other way usually. So it'd be in the card like this. Yeah. So this is what we're looking at. Land Rover again. And uh, Edelbrock. Yeah, that is Edelbrock. I don't know why that looked like it was some other word probably because the H was kind of missing there I don't know but anyway <laughs> so we're back at it look at this yeah so white sometimes is a better color to see you know uh, decals and uh, details and this is sharp boy look at that interior hey did you know that this was a right hooker this is not a left hooker this is a right hooker I don't know if I knew that Wow, we are learning stuff left and right here on Roverland. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, uh, just beautiful. I, I don't know. It's just the white and the and the blue just are sh just sharp. There's a little bit of defects there on the door on the blue, but uh, not bad, not bad, not good, but not bad. They didn't do anything other than you know having the red interior. So we know that that is uh, a different piece, that interior is part of the grill. And now you can really see that Range Rover stand right out on the rear. Um, I'm not really sure if that, uh, that um, Land Rover badge, see the Land Rover badge on this one is a little bit more clearer than it is maybe it's just a dot you know what i don't think they're trying to make that say land rover they're just putting a i think you know what i think that has the land rover uh no it is look at that will you will you take a look at that i'm going to try to zoom in closer and keep my hands from shaking it does say land rover on there it does wow that is awesome the details, you can barely make it out, but it does say Land Rover on there. That is cool. All right, now I gotta get back out here without getting crazy. All right, yeah, so um, I believe, no, I think that's a different, that's a different color tint on the window. Yeah, the, the red one is a little bit darker, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Maybe it, maybe it just seems that way because it's on the, on the on the black interior oh boy i don't know man i don't know comment down below do you think that's the same the same uh colored window well looking this way it sure does look like it maybe maybe not but there we go and kind of back to the old uh range rover the uh 1991 range rover where they did uh the white one and then they did the black one so it's kind of like that, but not like that. Yeah, but this is a sharp truck. You know, they got the white wheels. That's all right. These wheels are all right. I don't mind these wheels at all. They're really good. They're not the big wagon wheels that the uh, they put on the double cab. Uh, yeah, that, those were crazy. Those were out of this world. 
All right, well, there it is for a Monday. Hey, stick around. We're going to have a great week. Uh, unboxing Saturday is going to be of the uh, the club meet that I uh, went to and uh, met up with Travis and got this one. So, yeah, stick around. What up, Wednesday coming up? All right, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Remember, slow traffic, keep writing. Have a great Rover Day.